So the T app promised to be a whisper network to keep women safe from dangerous men. Instead, it became exhibit A for why vibe coding, shipping AI generated code without security reviews is creating a ticking time bomb in our industry. Let's dive into the security nightmare and what it means for the future of software development. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers as well as build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, picture this. You build an app to protect women from dangerous men, but instead you just handed every predator on the internet a searchable database of 72,000 women's driver's license, selfies, and exact locations. So how does a safety app become the most dangerous thing these women ever downloaded? How does vibe coding, where developers just ask ChatGP2 or other AI systems to build an app and ship whatever it spits out. And this turns your Firebase bucket into a public buffet for, ha for hackers. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit here today, because T, T spelled T-E-A, which is like, give us the T, right? It is an app that was vibe coded and it positioned itself as the ultimate safety app for women, a place to share warnings about dangerous men that they'd encountered. The app required government ID valid verification and selfies to prove users were women, creating an exclusive safe space. Now, within weeks, it skyrocketed number one on the app store with over 4 million users who trusted it with their most sensitive information. But behind the scenes, someone had used AI to generate the backend code without any security review or understanding. The result was a Firebase storage bucket with zero authentication, literally a public folder anyone could access with the right URL. The breach ex exposed 59 gigabytes of data, including 13,000 verification selfies and IDs, plus tens of thousands of user-generated images. Now, the app itself was vibe coded, and vibe coding is when developers rely on AI tools like ChatGPT or others to generate the code without rigorous security reviews. It's like asking a chatbot, build me a dating app with selfie verification, and shipping whatever code comes out of it. Now, the original, original hacker noted that the T's Firebase bucket was configured by default to be publicly accessible, lacking authentication. This approach prioritizes speed over security. Developers get to have functional features fast, but they miss critical vulnerabilities. So research shows that 48% of all AI generated code contains exploitable security features, yet startups keep shipping it to production. So I've been trying to warn people about this with vibe coding. It's great for if you want to do proof of concepts, if you want to, if you're a product person and you don't do coding and you just want to come up with something to show somebody quick, if you want to come up with a prototype, vibe coding is great for this, but it's never meant for production. And this is exactly why. So let's kind of dive into this a little bit more and look at some of these and see what's going on here. So let me grab this really quick and get these set up. All right, so private messages on T, the anonymous dating uh, app here, were, were exposed in a recent, recent data breach. So the data breach at T-Apps used to review men anonymously was bigger than initially reported. Direct messages, which include sensitive topics, were accessed by a security researcher. A T-spokesperson confirmed to Business Insider that some direct messages or DMs were accessed. So the interesting thing about this is the data breach was 72,000 images, and we talked a little bit about that. Now. Uh, a security researcher told uh, Business Insider that he was able to access more than 1.1 million private messages between T users, including intimate conversations about such topics as divorce, abortion, cheating, and rape. Some chats included details such as phone numbers and locations to meet up. Um, now, he goes on to say and kind of give a little bit of background, and I want to kind of go into a little bit more about the background of this, right? So, and this is another report that says that the leak worsens with a second database. So they actually found two, right? The T app data breach grown has even larger leak with the stolen data now shared on the hacking forum and second database discovered that allegedly contains 1.1 million private messages, uh, which is what we were talking about here. So the user shared a Python script that could be used to download the data from now secured storage bucket and over uh, in total over 59 gigabytes of data was exposed in the leak with T confirming this in its public statement. Um, now, the platform states the selfies were not deleted as expected to comply with law enforcement requirements related to cyberbullying prevention. 
So all of that goes back that the, the point with T is that T was written as a vibe coding app, right? It was an app that was written by um, its founder. Uh, so this is Sean Cook, who was the founder of T and he created this dating service for women. Now he did not have enough formal training, right? It looks like he took a six month coding boot camp, and obviously I'm not against coding boot camps because we teach people here in coding boot camps. But this should not be the limit of extent of which an app gets a security review before you're handling this level of sensitive data. This is not just PII data. This is crazy level of PII data. And so to leave this wide open is a huge concern. Um, now, I want to kind of go through this one because this post, I think, actually gives the best background to it, right? Vicode T app was that positioned itself as the safest app for women just leaked this many. The T app was designed to protect women. Instead, it exposed all this because someone forgot to secure the storage bucket. Literally no password, no encryption, no nothing. The crazy part, this wasn't some elite hacker attack. It was basic ne negligence, amateur AI generated code deployed at scale without security review. And this isn't just an accusation. The the T company has been bragging that they built this code use or built the app using vibe coding and that they were able to ship it quickly to get out to market. And so not only did they catch news cycles with this, but they obviously attracted some hackers as well. So the prompt, build a dating app with self, selfie verification, right? Output, Firebase bucket wide open to the internet. Obviously it was a little bit more than that. But now the data is circulating. So what went wrong? AI built code with no guardrails, misconfigured Firebase again, mandatory ID uploads was never deleted or at least moved into a secure location. The code absolutely should have bounced. It should have hit this location and then bounced into a secure location. If you need to be able to keep this stuff for law enforcement, that's fine, but it needs to be moved off to air gap or something like that, right? Um, viral growth was zero time for audits and a growing trend of dev shipping based on vibes, not security. This isn't a data breach, it's betrayal. Okay, so I get it, he's being a little dramatic. But my point here is, is that I'm with this guy here. A growing trend of dev shipping, shipping based on vibes, not security. This is the big under overlying problem that I'm seeing here, folks. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.